This is so cute. Tengok ni dia punya tepi tu. Sleeve dia. Can we try? Boleh try. Adelia or Fazura? <laughs> Yay! Cute guy, not Jimmy. Yeah, this is so really you. <laughs> that is fast. <laughs> As a young girl, we all want to get married. But is this what completes a person? Finding the one, marriage and babies. And if you don't find the one, then is your life incomplete? I'm happy. Pampering. Finally. Oh finally, I'm catching up so, with you. Yeah, finally, right? <laughs> what have you been doing? Where have you been? I've just been busy working. Elaine Daly is a very famous TV host and Miss Malaysia Universe in 2003. And she's one of my closest friends. We basically bonded on the movie set of Manish Jinta di Cappadocia. And I just have to catch up with her because it's been a while. How are you so busy and your skin just looks amazing? You know, I, I just, this just one of those days where I just feel like oh, I'm not gonna wear makeup. I've I know. Oh, don't, don't crash! <laughs> what do you mean? She should, mean never, days? should never pinch it out. She just oh, wait. Well, I did. Elaine has finally found the right man and now she is getting married. It feels like you just told me yesterday that you're dating Nick and then today you're like, you're marrying him. Yeah. I, I mean, I still can't finally. believe that it's actually happened. Happening, but yeah. If you told me last year, which was my busiest year of all that, you know, I was going to be married by the end of this year, I would have just laughed in your face. <laughs> I said, are you serious? But I suppose when you know, you know. Yeah. Elaine and I have always shared the same perspective on marriage. We're not the type of girls that would put a limit on when we're supposed to get married. She's that type of woman who does not believe in settling for anything less. We don't have to get married at a certain age. We have to get married and we will get married when we feel it's right and we, when we have found you know, the right guy. And now, finally, Elaine have found the right guy. I can't believe, I'm not a gusher and I'm not a very lovey-dovey kind of person, but I can't believe what this person's done to me. Aww. It's made me like super manja and Aww. like... That's true love. I am super happy for her because we've been talking about this for so long. I love Nick so much, he's like my brother. And to have him pop the question um, to her on their recent holiday, it's like a dream come true for me because I know Elaine has been looking for this love of her life all her life. Are you done with the whole preparation for weddings? I'm pretty chilled out. I, it's just a couple more fittings for the gowns and, oh and all that. Oh my god! So I'm just very blessed, Faz. I mean, are. I really never thought. But I, said, I, yeah. I said if I was not married by 40, I was going to become a nun. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> If I can't be a bride of anyone, I'll be a bride of God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in Rome, la, okay? Yeah, yeah. In yeah, Rome, yeah. so course, because yeah. Prada's just down the street. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, who would have thought, right? Maybe next year around this time, I'll be planning my wedding. You never, never know. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Jojo? Yes? I can see that you're smiling a lot <laughs> lately. And a little bird told me that you are seeing someone. Yes, indeed. I am. My brother Jojo is now 28 and he's, you know, the only little brother that I have and he's very close to me. I have heard, apparently, that he's seeing someone yet again. You know her? 
I know. She is one of your biggest fans. You're dating my fan? I want to know who this girl is. How did all this happen? The history of the people that you've dated, right? You tend to fall in love every five minutes with, you know, whoever that you meet, right? Jojo has this thing where he just falls in love and he just falls so hard and he gives everything that he has to a woman and he gets hurt very quickly. About one and a half years ago, when, oh. I, when I first met her. Mm -hmm. You really liked her? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. so she's not my sister-in-law yet, is she? Uh, I think she is. Oh, okay, yeah. she is. Okay. The, I would like to meet my sister-in-law. Okay, cool. I still have to meet this girl. I still have to see whether or not she's really sincere with my brother or she's just dating him because he's my brother. You need last lah. Really? You, 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 you harap, hopefully this will be the last one. But you never know one. lah. You cannot say that. No, this you cannot is the say one. this is the last one. You never know what's going to happen in the future. Okay. She's not the no. one yet. No, no. she is. No. I haven't met her. You cannot say that she's okay, the next one. Week. You, you say that to everyone. Okay, next week. Everyone that you meet, she's the one. I'm okay. gonna marry her. Well, if he thinks that she's the one, it's not really going to work because I'm out to get her. And she's down for interrogation, honey. Hmm, I wonder too. I, I don't know how people know that that person is the one. I think I should tweet. I should tweet. I should tweet and ask Twitter and see what no. they say. I should tweet and just ask them like, oh, you know, how do you know if you have found the one? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Maybe they would have the same answer as you do, maybe different. Yeah. Give it a try. Go. How Give it a try. How would you know if you have found the one? Okay. And when am I going to meet her? That's it. We can go have a dinner together. <gasps> yeah. Romantic. All right. Who do I bring? You have a boyfriend? Where? where? <laughs> <laughs> I said to you, I gave all to Ryan Gosling. <gasps> but see what he did. Ryan Gosling? Yeah, he's... I don't like that guy. I know. Yeah. I know you don't, I don't like, like that guy. Yeah. So anyway, that guy is out of my life. See, yeah. I've given everything to him and now another girl is pregnant with his baby. Oh. Learn from my mistakes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Coming up, welcome to my new house. It's nice. We're so proud of you. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> if Papa were to be... It's not easy talking about Papa. Now we're going shopping. We're going shopping. Lisa needs to get a new bag. Bag. <laughs> you need a bag. How you guys been? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's been so long. <laughs> this is like a complete housewife I love the tea feeling. time thing. Love it. I love it. <laughs> love it. Love. Me, Nazrim and Lisa loves to catch up over high tea or dinners or lunches. We love to drink tea like this and have our scones and sit on high horses, darling. I was noticing in all these articles that, that, that you've been answering for. But what? Ah, no, me? Fuzzy. Mm -hmm. And they keep asking about I... marriage and stuff. No, <laughs> not, not you, though. Oh, but marriage and stuff, really? Yeah, they've been asking. You read about that? Yeah. Oh, it's so annoying. Yeah, I know, the typical question. I don't get it. It has crossed my mind. Like, what if I don't end up getting married? For real. For real. Are you guys gonna still be my friends? Yeah. Oh, can, you, like, can, I, can I stay in one of your houses? <laughs> I can take care of your kids. <laughs> promise I will not go after your husband. <laughs> I promise. Everybody is just so obsessed about getting married. Why are you so obsessed? Can't you just chill out? I don't know why. I mean, people seem to think that 31. Oh, you're all lush, get married. Can you? Mm -mm. I just wish that you'll get married soon. Like, mm. why do you get married? I, I think he was that one person that I felt that, you know, although you're not entirely sure 100%, but he was kind of that person that I'm willing to take that risk for. Wow. To just, you know, give it a shot. Mm. What if I don't get married ever? What if I don't? I mean, if I'm not meant to be married at all, I'm okay with that. 
actually, but I do love kids and I do believe that I will one day find my true love. So I've like decided to tweet. About what? About, you know, how do you know if you found the one? Oh. You should just see what they what have to say. What is response? When that person can handle you at your worst and still thinks that you're the best, the he, she ever have. Oh, I think that's very apt. Really? Yeah. Because the reality of it is that nobody's perfect. I like that. Cheers to happiness and abundance and friendship of a lifetime. Oh. Preach. Not bad. Oh, clever. How are you? I'm good. Oh, How are so you? Hot. Oh, no, look at you. I'm all Sazi, and I have been friends for so many years. We go way back because we did a movie called Golenginchu together and we did a TV series two, two or three seasons after that. Sazi is now married and she has twins. How are you? I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. How have you yeah. been? Sazi Palak is just an incredible woman. She's a mom, a wife, and as well as an entrepreneur. It must be a handful. Being a mom is handful. It is a new experience. First of all, you become a mom and you're taking care of someone completely new and it's your whole responsibility. Thank you, mommy. Look at you going around right? maternal and stuff. It was interesting to see Sazi being a mom. And she has basically restored my faith in being this woman who can juggle all things at once. I love her. Oh, that's mummy's. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, mummy got confused. I got confused with a lot of things, trust You're me. You're feeding your kid and feeding yourself. Yes, what do you want? You want that, the horse? Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, oh you got to share. Can I have your shoes? Oh, babe. What? So cute, look. Are you sharing? Oh my God. <laughs> so cute. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Giddy up, giddy up. Just, you know, catching up with an old friend and spending time with the children bring that feeling of wanting to have children again. Well, just sit there and eat your food while I just babysit you. I know, thank okay. you. I'm yeah. enjoying myself. Right? Once upon a time in the night garden, Eagle Piggle came to play. Who is calling on the troubly phone? Wawa! <laughs> Wawa, yes, Wawa. I'm just proud because kids are very much drawn to me, you know? they take on me pretty quickly and they love their auntie Faz. Oh, thanks Faz. You're such a natural. See, you're still maternal. Yeah, I know. It's going to happen naturally for you. Yes, you're exactly. going to find that guy. Yeah. You're going to have those children that you want, like all 12 of them. I can't remember. <laughs> you're like one of like I wanted a lot of children. I'm like, good luck. I have one pregnancy and I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> When you meet your friends that are already married, it's hard to hold a conversation because they're always just, you know, talking to their children and telling them to do things and handling them and controlling them. So you know, I must say that she handled herself really well. I could actually have a conversation with her. And you better tell me, okay, everything. Wedding, I'm going to be there for the baby shower. Oh, yes. You plan my hands yes, night. Yes, I'm yes. going to plan your hands <laughs> night in return. Today, I have found some time to go over to my new house with my interior designer, Ferris Mosin from Karawang. So, for this wall, for this room, we're going to have wallpaper. Yeah, but I'm thinking if if it's up to me, I want everything to be pink, but obviously we can't have everything yeah, in pink. but we can blend. The best thing about Ferris is that he's so creative and he knows exactly what I want because we both kind of have the same mind and he, you know, is pretty much on the same pitch as I am. I really like modern French type of design and theme for the house. But can we add more pink, I think? <laughs> yeah, we can add on the two cushions. Okay, Maybe on the, the cushion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can change the carpet. He knows I'm a little bit of a diva when it comes to my bedroom. <laughs> I want to have a closet, you know, for all my shoes and bags. And I love pink. If I had a husband now, he would probably be painted pink as well. <laughs> It's really important to get my family's seal of approval on my new home, so I invited them over to have a look. Welcome to my new house, or our new house. <laughs> the thing with me is that I am very 
clingy with my family, I would love to have them in my house living with me. In Malaysia, we are pretty much very conservative, very family oriented. Parents are pretty much staying with their kids um, a lot more when they're older. Come, Mama. This is your room. You like your room? Is it big enough? Yeah, that's why I'll get bigger room for you. <laughs> And I think it's important as well when I get married one day that my mom will be living with me, you know. If she's not going to be living with me, then maybe I'm going to build a house right next to mine where she's going to be really close to me. So, future husband, be warned, my mom will be living with us. It's nice, we're so proud of you. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> if Papa were to be... She's going to be proud of you. My father has passed away in year 2000. And ever since, I have just been missing him and wishing he was here, especially now. I just want to see his face and ask him if he's proud of me. We are all so proud of you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yes, in the house. of course. All of us. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Huh? <laughs> it's not easy talking about Papa. Come. I don't do her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Coming up, I do not want him to get heartbroken again. And if you hurt him, Girl, I'm gonna hurt you. The big sister is gonna come in for a huge interrogation and she's gonna be in a hot seat. So you like my brother? My brother Faiz and my sister Ilo Asma have decided to throw Adelia a second birthday party. A lot of people have said to me that she is actually my long lost child. She is a lot like me. Well, number one, the obvious, her high taste in fashion. She only likes Chanel bags. When I got there, I saw Adelia crying. And I'm like, oh God, what could have gone wrong? And guess who organized the clown? I'm a bad aunt. I'm officially a bad aunt for making my niece cry her eyeballs out. Very nice. Don't cry. Welcome to Adelia's party. Yay! Hey. Malu! Picture, picture. I'm just so happy that we had the chance to spend time, run around and play around together on her birthday party and she didn't hate me that much, so I'm glad. Oh, I'm hungry too. Should we cut the cake? A few weeks back, my brother Jojo have declared that he has a new girlfriend. He's been calling all his past girlfriends the one. So I'm going to be the judge of that. Oh, okay, hi. Okay, this is Zarina. Yeah, Zarina. What? This Zarina? I know this girl. Come on, she's been my fan. We've met each other a few times before. Yeah, a few times yes. Before, yeah. But now you're dating my brother. <laughs> so it's a big difference right now. <laughs> As a big sister, I am really concerned about his heart and his feelings. I do not want him to get heartbroken again. And if you hurt him, girl, I'm going to hurt you. I feel sorry for her because the big sister is going to come in for a huge interrogation and she's going to be in a hot seat. So you like my brother? How, how do you like my brother? Like, a lot? Ke? Sikit? Ke? A lot? 
Because, you know, my brother has been hurt so many times. I don't want him to get involved with someone again and then he gets hurt. Just take your time, just do your thing. Jangan rush into anything. Yeah. Do take care of my brother. I hope he takes care of you too. She will get there, but right now she's here. I'm going to give you all my handbags and shoes. So you really have to be nice to my brother and be nice to me. I've had a crazy, crazy month, but today's my brother's birthday and being able to see my grandma and my aunts and my cousins is just ah, such a relief for me. It's like a gift. Happy birthday, Baie! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whenever I get the chance to spend time with my family, it's always just so precious. I'm just really happy every time that my whole family is in a room together. I love you, Mato. Uh -huh. uh, she's like, uh, I love you too. I love to cook. My whole family loves to cook. What my mother has said to me and my grandmothers have said to me is that a way to your husband's heart is through your cooking. Okay, kita rasa kan impak kita buat. Oh, ah, mak pun buat juga. Cuba. Ah, ah, cuba, boleh. Cuba. Eh, no. Nak matuk? Masih matuk. <laughs> Love you, matuk. My grandmother, my darling, darling grandmother, is my dad's mother. She's 81. Oh, oh. <laughs> Too much making yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma has said to me that I should always pray, that I should always take care of myself and never forget my roots. And number three, always, always spend time with my family. Actually, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. I'm going to Siapa apa motivate orang kan? Uh. With all the blessings that I have, uh. I just wish he was here. I really, you know, I really miss him and I just really wish that he was here with me, but God loves him more. I guess at this stage of my life, I've just never been happier. You know, I just feel so content with my life and myself. I already have a family. I have my mom and my siblings and my little niece. And I know that someday there'll be a time when I will have my own family, my husband and my own kids. But today is just not the day and I'm perfectly happy. Everyone has their own goals in life and I'm happy. Next time on Facing Up to Fazura. In one of my biggest fears to go and visit animal shelters. We'll have haters on the left side and on the right side. They'll be like saying you're ugly, you're fat, you're this and that, you're this and that. Do I want tips from you now? Oh, of course. They want to work with new artists. What if I don't get married at all? What if I'm just too picky?